Well, the farmer's market that's open year round is gearing up for Thanksgiving. This morning, Ansley Watson is at Farmer Cues in Marquette telling us how they're getting ready for the eating day. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. That's right. We're talking about Thanksgiving. It's that meal where your daily caloric intake nearly doubles, if not more. That Thanksgiving feast will always get you. But here at Farmer Cues, they have over 100 free-range turkeys that have come in. People have already ordered them, ready to get those ready for the table on Thursday. Not only that, though, we're going to be talking about all the other classic Thanksgiving foods for that day. So stay with us. Reporting live in Marquette, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. All right. Thank you very much, Ansley. Sort of uh, getting us ready for the big day. I know earlier mm -hmm. this morning on our live video, she asked if we like the meal or the leftovers. Boy, it's kind of a toss up for me. I don't know. I'm a meal fan I'm myself. Meal fan. Yeah, Yeah, I think I like the leftovers more. Yes. Really? Mm -hmm. Interesting. For certain things. Desk divided. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not. And welcome back. Farmer Q's Market in Marquette getting ready to send out some uh, free range turkeys before Thursday. Ansley Watson is there to help us kick off Thanksgiving week. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. So it seems like every year people get that turkey for Thanksgiving and they're like, OK, what? How do I make this now? <laughs> so to help us this morning is Susan Bryan, and she's the owner here at Farmer Q's. Good morning, Good Susan. Good morning. How are you? Good. Good. How are you? Great. So you already have over 100 birds that came in that people have already ordered from you. Free range turkeys, where do these come from? Um, they're from Mansalona, Michigan, which is just below the Mackinac Bridge. These are very fresh, so fresh. In fact, you said that these might have been gobbling maybe even yesterday. Yeah, they were most likely alive yesterday, <laughs> yes. Talk about the differences, fresh versus frozen, pros and cons. Um, well, a fresh turkey um, will cook quick faster. Um, which is really nice. A uh, frozen turkey takes a lot longer to thaw, first mm -hmm. of all, and then it does take longer to cook as well because the flesh expands when it's frozen. Huh. And um, so that's some of the differences, I guess. Now, it's also interesting you said when you get order fresh turkeys, the pounds, you don't really know what you might be getting. Yep, it's a little bit tricky because usually when you take orders for fresh turkeys, they're still alive. Uh -huh. So you just want to try to go gauge your range that will work for your cooking, and then we'll try to like follow right in behind that. So give us some tips. You said this is actually your family's turkey. You're going to be taking this home. How are you going to be making this? Um, the way I'm going to make it is, well, first of all, with a fresh turkey, you don't have to do a lot to the turkey because it will stay moist versus a frozen turkey. So all I'm going to do is just actually like do some herb butter on the outside and underneath the skin and just roast it in the oven. Um, for half the time, I'm going to cover it with foil and then take the foil off at the end so that the skin can get brown. There's a trick. How long per pound do you bake slash cook a turkey? They estimate around 20 minutes per pound okay. for cooking a turkey. Now, if you are cooking a fresh turkey, it's going to cook faster mm -hmm. than a frozen turkey. So you might want to back that off to like maybe 18 or 17 minutes a pound. And how can you tell once you get it out? Is, is it, does it get a certain color? Well, you actually, you have to use a thermometer. Okay. And you want to put the thermometer in the thigh part of the turkey because that's like the deep part of the turkey and you want it to be at at least 165 degrees and then you'll know that it's done. Also you said you said it was important that the turkey needs to rest. What do you mean by that? Well after you you know you get it to 165 degrees let it sit out of the oven for at least a half hour to 45 minutes because you want the flesh to kind of come back together. If you just cut it right after it comes out of the mm -hmm. oven the the meat will actually fall apart and oh. that's not you, you don't know, want that. Right. <laughs> Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, we also determined today is National Stuffing Day. How appropriate, right? <laughs> so yeah, that's why we, we uh, said, actually, people, some people call it stuffing. Some people call it dressing. What do you call it? Um, we call it stuffing. Yeah. Yeah. So what are the options that you have um, here at Farmer Q? Well, we just kind of have a couple here. Um, one of them is made by our local baker. And what he just does is he dries like his stale bread. Mm -hmm. And so you can add herbs to it, um, chicken stock, and so on. Um, you can either stuff it inside your bird or some people like to put it in a pan to cook. And then I just have another like national brand. Um, this is an organic stuffing. There are instructions on the back, but it's basically the same. You can add some vegetables to it, you know, saute them first, 
and then chicken stock, and then bake it in a pan. Sounds delicious. I think that we are getting ready for Thanksgiving awesome. here. I'm getting so hungry. We'll have more talk about more Thanksgiving food when we come back. Stay with us. Reporting live in Marquette, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. Thank you very much, Ansley. As uh, we're getting ready for the day, we're also gearing up for Wednesday's big pie bake off. I think oh, all of us, yes, except yes. for Sam, maybe did a test pie. So. Yeah, I like to go in blind. <laughs> yeah. Surprise myself, too. Yeah, there you go. It's always fun. Welcome well, back. Don't... Well, local farmers market is stocking up on all the Thanksgiving staples. Ansley Watson is joining us once again this morning at Farmer Q's Market to help us get ready for the big meal. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Sam. Are you ready for the big meal? No, I'm, I'm ready. curious as to what you actually eat on Thanksgiving. I'm not even quite sure. Do you even like turkey? Probably not. Anyway, I know. we actually figured out the uh, stuffing versus dressing debate. This is Susan Bryan. She's the owner here at Farmer Q's. Good morning. Hello. And how did we determine the stuffing versus dressing thing? Yeah, we figured it out. So dressing or stuffing is actually the breading that you put inside Which of your roast makes or sense. your turkey. Yes. And dressing is something that you prepare outside of the roast. So you just eat it plain, that's your yes. dressing. Yes, yep, so that's the difference between. And then I also think it's a little regional, like where you live. I think so too. If you have stuffing or dressing. I would agree with that. So earlier we were talking about fresh turkeys versus frozen turkeys, how to make that perfect turkey for Thanksgiving dinner. But also you all need the side dishes as well. So we have a, a nice variety of vegetables out here. Talk us through um, maybe what you have here at Farmer Q's. Sure. So, um, of course, fresh green beans are always like a staple at Thanksgiving. Um, a lot of people like to try green bean casserole. Mm. And I always recommend using fresh versus canned or really? frozen because it's a lot better. Um, we have dried cherries from Michigan. Those are always super popular to put into stuffing or into like a rice pilaf, wild rice pilaf. Um, and then we have yams and sweet potato. <laughs> All right. There is a difference between these as well. What are they? Okay. Well, a sweet potato, um, they are all sweet potatoes. Okay. First of all, there is a difference in hardness and softness. So usually a sweet potato is a softer type of potato and a yam when it's referred to is actually just a harder sweet potato. So this, this is yep, the sweet so potato. This is a, yep, this is a, no, this is a yam. Oh, okay. This is actually a red garnet yam. So it's really bright red, colored red inside when you cut it open. And then this is a regular old sweet potato. And um, so like a traditional yam, like an actual one is from Africa and those can be up to five feet long, which is crazy. Oh my goodness. So, um, and then we of course have baking potatoes or russet potatoes. Those are always really awesome to make mashed potatoes with as well as Yukon gold potatoes because those are super creamy. Um, they'll mash really easily. And then we have cranberries, which these are actually from Wisconsin. Even though they say ocean spray, they're Wisconsin cranberry. And a lot of people like to cook them, add citrus to it, ginger, mm -hmm. all kinds of things like that. Um, and then we've got some herbs. These are like the most popular savory herbs for Thanksgiving, rosemary, thyme. Um, Would you put those on your turkey then? Yeah, you can put them in your turkey, like roast it in the cavity. Oh, no. Um, and then we have some hard squash too, which is super popular. People make, like to make pies or they like to roast it in the oven too. Um, speaking of pies, so we've got this great pie bake -off contest coming yes. up. And uh, if you can see behind us, whole variety of apples. So I'm actually going to be very nice to my coworkers and say, Vicki, Sam, Cassie, if you need apples, Right here, Farmer Q's definitely has a nice variety, and Susan might be nice enough to uh, give you a hint. I might share my wisdom with <laughs> you, maybe, but these guys have a little edge on you, just to let you know. Yeah, John and I are, are fully prepared. Well, Susan, thank you so much for being with us this morning, sharing your knowledge about delicious Thanksgiving foods. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you, too. Awesome. Reporting live in Marquette, Ansley Watson, and we'll be back with more of your TV6 Morning News after the break.